G'day trendsetters and welcome to the next edition of the Bamboo Bicycle Club. Building a bike from scratch, what could possibly go wrong? That's my mate Todd. He's basically doing the building, I'm doing the filming and, well, advising I guess. The next phase... You're always advising. Hmm, that's what they say. The next phase is we're going to build the jig. We need the jig because that is how the frame is going to be laid up and bonded and that sort of stuff. So without further delay, we're going to film Todd building the jig. All right, so we're back today at the Bamboo Bicycle Project. It's been over a year, but some of us have other lives besides building bikes. Uh, we spent a while waiting for parts to come in, but it's all in now. We've got the complete setup, so we're proceeding. And the next stage is actually building the jig, which is going to be what keeps our bike straight and aligned when we actually do the glue up. So the package you're gonna get from Bamboo Bicycle Club is gonna be inside your main box and it's wrapped flat, flat packed like this. It's a little Ikea-ish. Um, you can see there that, that that's the jig. Um, as I said in a previous video, it kind of looks like the plans for uh, a, you know an alien spaceship from the H.R. Geiger drawings. Um, <laughs> But we'll get those apart, and then we'll consult our manual for exactly how these jigs get built up. Um, and you can see here, underneath the jig, is the grid pattern. I don't have it taped down yet, because we're not going to do the glue up today, but essentially you're going to have this taped down to your, your workspace, which needs to be totally flat and plumb when you do this. Um, and you can see that there's really four parts to the jig. You've got your rear triangle jig, you've got your seat cluster jig, you've got your bottom bracket jig, and then you've got two pieces up here for your head tube jig. So those are the things that we're actually gonna build and assemble today, uh, and then when we actually get to frame construction day, we will lay those out and secure them on our jig grid here, and that's gonna give us the basic layout and make sure our frame is totally straight when we glue it up. You know, it's interesting, mate. Most professional frame builders have a big, heavy-ass table for building their frames. And we've got a uh, dodgy plastic table here. And it's going to do the job that's great. Well, if I was a professional and I was building frames for people that were paying for them, and if I was doing more than one frame a year or one frame in 14 months, as I'm doing here, I would definitely have a, a jig. And our, our mutual friend Gary, he has a jig that he's made, and he's, he's uh, brazed up a bunch of metal frames. He's never done a ba bamboo frame. Um, but he has a jig, so if we need, we might call him in for consultation on the glue-up day. We'll find out. You can find a friend is what we're saying. Yeah. I think I dropped out a piece there, so this is what your jig looks like. So we're going to punch these things out of their homes, and then we will construct the manual for exactly how to build uh, these jig pieces together. And this one is for the flax build, which I take it must be the one where they actually wrap the tubes as opposed to using the aluminum lugs. I'm not sure what the flax build is. Hey, I can't um, help but notice you've got some beer going on here. Is that so? That's an understory from Swamphead, uh, one of our Gainesville local breweries. Uh, understory is one of their most recent hazy IPAs. You know, call me a hipster, call me trendy, but I'm drinking a hazy IPA here on Labor Day while I'm building a bamboo bicycle. So yeah, you probably the clues were already there. This one is, gotta pop this out. And this will be a jig that uh, we probably put in the backyard to simply recycle itself into the ground after we're done with it. Um, because if we get another frame kit down the road, it'll come with another jig. Uh, and this jig is gonna be specific to this frame build, uh, so there's really no reason for us to keep it, but it's gonna just degrade into my yard as any other piece of bamboo is that I have growing. Todd does have a lot of bamboo. I've got a lot of bamboo. As I told someone recently, I could build several Contiki boats with the bamboo I have in the yard at the moment. Um, if you need bamboo, find out how to message me offline because I've got plenty of all sizes. If you wanna build a Tiki hut, a lanai, dangerous mountain bike tracks, whatever you want to build out of bamboo, I've got your bamboo for you. Okay, so that's going to be it for the punch out of our jig, and now we're going to consult our manual and start the assembly. We're going to start by building uh, one half of the jig for the head tube. Uh, so we'll take these two pieces, and I'm, I'm really just following what's in the manual um, and fitting these, and the jig is also made of bamboo. 
Um, so we've got that part linked together. Initial assembly on any, this, any project can be a little tight, but getting the jig together correctly is, might be one of the most important parts of this whole project because you want this bike to be straight once you've invested all the time and energy in all the prep work you've done. And then these get locked together with these little tabs um, so that they don't, don't move. So now you've got half of the head tube jig. Let's see if I can do the other half a little bit better. I'm gonna find out. I think that should be like that. You wanna be reasonably careful here because you break this thing and you're gonna be writing to the company for some new pieces because you gotta have the jig. Unless you just wanna wing it, but I'm not sure I'd wanna wing it in terms of how straight my frame is. Um, that's a different, that's a seat tube part. Uh, when we're putting the kind of nice components on this build that Shimano has sent us and Wolf Tooth. We have a complete Shimano GRX 11 speed VI2 drivetrain, carbon wheels, carbon bar. All two components are linked to the other video showing those goodies on screen in the description below. So you can see how eventually when we get all of these jig pieces built, they're going to be laid out exactly on the template, and it's going to be the template that determines all the layup and fit of the tubes when we get it glued to when we put the epoxy in and get it glued together. Um, and it's gonna hold that frame in place until the epoxy hardens up. All right, that's 44. And I wanna do this one with 44. There we go. That's 44. Perfect. Manual's pretty easy to follow. It's mostly pictures, not big on words. Uh, but that's gonna hold our head tube together and then we're going to return to DH which is the rear triangle at the base. Now we're going to get our derailleur hanger that's DH by the company thing but the rear triangle jig together. All right we got that snapped together. All right and then we've got some lugged builds that go, I believe, in here. I'm not 100% positive this is correct. We might have to redo it. And then another one down here. Yep. All right. All right, still a little fiddly. And then, do we have another piece for that? That's the BBH, so this is the flax build. I think we're done, except what's this one? So this is uh, important to be have it. It's a double layer here, unlike a lot of the other jig pieces in the center of this. So it's tempting to want to just do it once, and then you realize, wait, I've got a leftover part, and because you need two of those pieces back to back right there in the center. Uh, so we're gonna redo this. Yeah. We'll do this on the top. Get it in there just right, and then we'll mount it to the bottom plate. It's gonna snap in there. Come on, you. There we go. It's a lot of joints to get at once. And you can again see that it's gonna fit on the template. Come on, get on there, you. There we go. All right, see tube jig. All right, now we're gonna put do the bottom bracket, which is two pieces here that slide together like so. And then you do have, like you do with the head tube as well as the seat tube, there's different jig size discs here that you can pick based on what your kit is. Um, so you're gonna to wanna to pick the right size to assemble your jig. This is gonna go into the base. There we go. Could be a little fiddly at first, but in the long term, I think you want it overly tight as opposed to overly loose because you want this to be stable once you get it assembled. Get in there. There we go. Not All right. Floppy, sloppy jig. We don't want a sloppy jig. Uh. And then we're going to fit this. should slide all the way down on this. 
to take one side of the BB and you get that sunk all the way down to the base like that and then the next one should just go to this flush with the top um, and we'll leave that for the build later but there we have our bottom bracket jig piece this is going to go right in here to keep that flush and you want it flush against the top so you pull it back a little bit push this one down pull this one back and you should have your correct distance that's all been laser cut at the factory so that's our jig uh, next time we'll be back fitting the tubes mixing our epoxy and gluing this thing up Trendsetters, that wraps up this fascinating installment of Todd, mostly, not me, building this bamboo bike by Bamboo Bicycle Club. Check me up there, the social, etc. at Bamboo Bicycle Club and, of course, bamboobicycleclub.org. As always, thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the Gravel Cyclist YouTube channel for, I'm not sure, insane videos such as this one. No bull gravel bike reviews other product reviews, ride experience videos, and my favorite, really, general madness. It's man hug time. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you. And congratulations, Alan Hathery, Hatherly, world mountain bike cross country champion. Mate, if someone didn't watch the telly, you just gave it away. All right. It was yesterday. We'll, we'll see you in the next video.